Hi everyone, my name is Kalen from Redfoot Leveling, and today I'm going to talk about how to diagnose and test our pressure switches on our hydraulic systems. Now, the three most common issues with the pressure switch will be one, the wiring harness itself. So that can be as simple as a wiring plug not correctly plugged in. So the best way, we'll show you how to test that in a second, will be testing the continuity between the switch and the keypad. The second issue will be the switch itself being stuck open. And what will happen then is when you press or retract when all the jacks are down, the system will retract for about five seconds, then shut off and all the jack lights will go out. Thirdly, if the presser switch is stuck closed, when you press or retract with all the jacks down, they'll go all the way up, keep going, the jack lights will never go out, the keypad will eventually time out. So now if the pressure switch issue is wiring related, we want to go to the harness on the pump first, disconnect it, and just have a look inside and on the end and make sure that all the plugs are correctly seated. And the one for the presser switch is the yellow with black stripe. And as you can see, that's correctly in. We'll check the one on this side as well. Yellow with black stripe. That's correctly in. I can see the pin in there. Do the same thing with the plug on the back of the keypad. We'll unplug this. As you'll see, yellow with black stripe is this one here. That's correctly in. And I can see the terminal in there. Now we're going to check if the wires have been damaged. So we want to get our multimeter out, put it on continuity. As you see, it'll beep when it completes the circuit. So we'll go to one end of this harness, just like that. That's where the pressure switch wire is there, yellow with black, and then go to the side of the harness here. Now we'll do the same thing for the pump side as well. So we'll put in the probe into the yellow with black again, and we'll go up here to the pressure switch cable. Unplug that. As we see, we got continuity between there as well. Now, if your pressure switch is stuck open and the system is only retracting for five seconds before turning off and all your jack lights are going out, what you want to do to test this is unplug this yellow with black stripe, put this on ground, then do an all retract. Once you do an all retract, you'll see the whole system will go all the way up, the keypad will time out and your lights will stay on. That's telling you that your switch is stuck open. Now, if your presser switch is stuck closed and you're having the jacks go all the way up, but the lights aren't going out, what you want to do, same thing, unplug this, but just leave it unplugged, press or retract. You will see the system will retract for about five seconds, then turn off. Now, the reason why we've done that specific testing method is so we can determine if the keypad is at fault or something else in the system. So we've done this test and we can either determine if it's a wiring issue, and if that's the case, you'll need to repair the wires. If it is a switch stuck open or closed, you will have to purchase a new switch from Redfoot Leveling. If you're still having issues and you can't figure out what's wrong with the system, please give us a call. And that's all, enjoy back next time for some more tips and tricks.